Hello, it's Jonathan here from Boom Instructor Training and this is a video from my online ADI training course. I've made a series of part three video tutorials to teach you all of the competences, all of the skills that you need to pass the part three test. So you can easily learn how to teach pupils by watching my video tutorials. So if you go to boominstructortraining.com, then you can purchase all of the video tutorials and learn all of the skills necessary to pass the part three test and qualify as an ADI. So this clip is a clip from the video tutorials just to give you a preview of the kind of thing that you can expect. This is a beginner pupil and this is introducing the cockpit drill to a beginner pupil. Now this isn't something that you would do on your part three test because you wouldn't take a beginner pupil with you for the part three test. You need to take a pupil who has some previous experience and they can actually drive in the flow of traffic. Nonetheless, you do need to know how to introduce the cockpit drill to a beginner pupil. You need all of the skills to, to teach a complete beginner and you will learn all of these skills on my video tutorials. But check out this video tutorial just showing you how to introduce the cockpit drill to a complete beginner. And really my advice when you're going through a, a controls lesson, in this case, the cockpit drill with a beginner pupil, is to keep it relaxed, keep it simple. Don't go into too much detail. You want to provide just enough information so the pupil understands what you're saying and they can follow what you're saying and they can put into practice what you're saying. But if you get bogged down in too much detail and you go into a lot of technical description and technical detail, then you would be suffering from what I call the curse of knowledge. You're, you're kind of just really showing off to the pupil and saying, hey, look how much I know, aren't I a clever clogs? I know all this. But the pupil doesn't want to know all of that. They just want the very simple, basic message of what they need to do. So keep things very, very simple for the pupil and just give them just as much information as they need at this moment in time. So let's have a look at this video and I hope you find it very helpful. All right then Jody. so we parked up now at the practice area and we're going to swap seats over now. So if you want to take your belt off and before we swap seats, I'm just going to move this seat all the way down and all the way back. There we go. Because you're going to be adjusting this seat in a moment, all right? And then you need to exit the car safely. Now, the best way to do this is you need to check to the side and behind. What do you think you need to check for as you open the door? Um, pedestrians. Yeah, pedestrians to the front, to the side, and to the rear on the pavement on your side. So you've got the silver handle here, so you can hold that with your with that hand. But what I want you to do now, and this is a, perhaps a new technique that you've never thought about before, because when you open the door, you do need to twist around like this. So if you push the door open with your other hand here, it kind of forces you to twist around like that. You see what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So before you pull the handle and push the door open, make sure that you've had a good look all around, that there's no pedestrian activity to the front, to the side, and to the rear, okay? So if you want to, and I'll watch you do that. Yeah, that's it. There we go, that's perfect. Yeah, lovely, well done. Okay, so we looked at the driving syllabus a little bit earlier. 
And if we have a look here at the top, look, pre-driving knowledge, cockpit drill, use of controls, biting point. So this is what we're going to be going through for the next 20 minutes, something like that, 25 minutes maybe. So the cockpit drill, we're going to go through that first. It's just a, a really simple, straightforward routine that every driver needs to go through when they sit in the driver's seat. And it really, it's just to make sure that you're seated safely, that you can see to the front, you can see to the rear, you can reach the controls, you need to make sure the doors close and make sure your seat belt's on, okay? So that's what this means. So first thing, let's check that the door is properly closed. So this kind of black handle that you've got there, if you just give it a pull, yeah? Yep. Does the door feel solid? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not rattling, there's no movement. No, it's good. The door is closed safely then, okay? So the next thing is adjusting the seat so you can reach the controls. So what I mean by the controls is the, you've got the three foot pedals down there, you've got the steering wheel, that you need to be able to reach. So the seat, it moves forwards and backwards, up and down, the back of the seat here will go forward and backwards as well. First thing you want to raise the height of the seat. That's the first thing that you want to do. So you can see over the steering wheel and you can see the road ahead. Okay. All right, so any idea how you'd raise the height of the seat? Um, I'm not really sure. Okay, well there's like a lever to the right side of your seat. If you have a look down there, have a feel. Can you feel that lever? Oh yeah. Yeah, just kind of pull that lever up and keep, kind of keep pulling it up. That's it. Raise the height of the seat so you can clearly see over the steering wheel and you can nicely see the road ahead. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, that's all right, is it? Yeah, you're happy with that? Yeah. All right then, so then you want to be able to reach the foot pedals down there. So if you look down there, you've got three pedals. The left pedal is the clutch pedal. See if you can reach that clutch pedal now and press it fully down with the ball of your left foot. Can you do that? No. So you need to move the seat forward. Any idea how you'd move the seat forward? Is the lever mm -hmm. down there mm -hmm. somewhere, yeah? Do you want to have a, have a try, just move it forwards? A little bit. You can hold on the wheel with your left hand, pull yourself forward with your left hand, that's it. Try there then. If you just push back in the seat so it locks into place, yeah? And try pressing the left pedal down with the ball of your foot. You want a slight bend in your left leg. Your left leg doesn't want to feel totally outstretched. How does that feel? No, I still feel too far away. Well, move it forward a bit more. Yeah. That feel okay? Feels okay. Yeah. And with your right foot, you can reach the other two pedals. The, the one on the far right is the uh, accelerator pedal, the middle one's a brake pedal. Yeah. So you can reach those three pedals comfortably. Yeah. That feels okay, does it? Yeah. Feels good. So the height of the seat's good. You've moved the seat forward. Then you've got to consider the reach of the steering wheel now. So you want to be able to hold the wheel, just like I demonstrated when I was driving here. I showed you how I was holding the wheel. So put your hands where I recommended you hold the wheel. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now just move your hands and grip the wheel at the top of the wheel. So just like that, grip at the top, that's it. And yeah, does that feel comfortable? Does your arms feel outstretched at all? No, I think that feels That feels comfortable, feels okay, does it? Yeah. Well, actually the, the back part of the seat here is positioned well for you at the moment, just coincidentally. But nonetheless, I do want you to know how to adjust that part of the seat. So I just want you to have a, um, a little practice adjusting the, the back part of the seat. So do you know how to, how would you do that? I'm not quite sure. Okay, well in the bottom, you can take your hands off the wheel now, in the bottom corner of the seat down on the right side there, there's like a, a wheel that you can turn. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to see that, yeah? Okay. So if you ever reach down, lean off the seat so you're not putting your weight on it and then if you twist that wheel, so now, can you feel which way the seat's moving? Yeah, towards me. Uh -huh, towards you, yeah, and then twist it the other way. It's moving oh, yeah. away from you, yeah. Okay, so now you've just adjusted that, just check that you can, that's it, hold the wheel okay there. Again, both hands at the top, you don't want to be outstretched. Yeah, so that, you feel that, you feel that, I think it could I think go, I need to come a little bit. go a little bit further forward, yeah. better. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah. So you can now reach the wheel. So you can reach the pedals, you can reach the steering wheel now. So that's great. Now another part of the seat 
that you need to adjust is the head restraint and actually that's a little bit high for you at the moment so the head restraint wants adjusting so your eyes are level with the center of the head restraint so it's a little high at the moment now what i'm going to do i'm just going to lean over i'm going to push in this little button here for you look and then you can push the head restraint probably all the way down for you all the way down to the bottom there Let's have a look at that. So yeah, that looks okay. So your eyes are level with the center of the head restraint now. Okay. okay yeah, with that. So if you kind of, also the top of your ears, if you like, if you kind of put your, your hands like that and, and then you'll feel where your ears are and then you can feel that it's kind of the center of the head restraint there, yeah? Okay, feel yeah. that, yeah? yeah. So that's important to have that head restraint adjusted when you're driving. Do you know, do you know why it's important? Maybe in case we have a crash. If you have a crash, yeah, because you get thrown forward, then you'll get thrown backwards if you have a crash. And um, yeah, so what's the purpose of the head restraint, do you know? Well, to help your neck. To protect your neck, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so it'll reduce the chance of a neck injury providing that head restraint is correctly adjusted. Okay, so that's great. All right then, so all that's uh, nicely adjusted now. Um, so what you can do now is put your seat belt on and make sure it isn't twisted as you as you do so yeah yep, so that's not twisted that looks good and then so you're seated safely now now you need to be able to see to the rear you can see well to the front you need to see to the rear so that means you need to adjust your mirrors okay now i have actually got a diagram here that i'm just going to show you so you can see how the mirrors need adjusting. So you're going to hold the mirror like that so you're not getting your fingerprints on the glass. Okay. okay. And then you want to adjust the mirror so you've got the best possible view directly behind the car. So can you see this image here? Yeah. yeah? So you're going to frame the whole of the rear windscreen within the black frame of the mirror so you can see directly to the rear. You can see the road to the rear. So do you want to, to try that? So just sit in your seat. If you use your left hand, look, that's it. And just sit in your normal seating position. What does yeah, that look I think like? That's okay. Yeah? Describe what you can see in the interior mirror. What can you see? I can see the car behind. Mm -hmm. I can see the pavement. Okay. And then I can see the road. Okay, excellent. Well, I think, therefore, you've got a, a good view. Can you see the, the, the red car and the black car parked on the other side of the road? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, great. Well, I would say that that's properly adjusted for you. Now you need to adjust the exterior mirrors. Okay, so any idea where the controls are, by the way? Because the mirrors in this car are operated electrically. Any idea if you're going to have a guess where the controls are? Um, there's quite a few things there. Mm -hmm. So you've got that silver handle. Below the sil silver handle is a circular control with an up, down, left and right arrow on it. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Just point to that. That's it. That's the one. And then just above that, you've got two buttons, one to the right, one to the left. Can you see those? Yeah. Yeah. So what, the one to the right, that relates to the right exterior mirror. The one to the left relates to the left oh, okay. exterior mirror. So this car is um, a keyless car. So providing the key fob, we'll call it the key fob is inside the car. Then you can turn the electrics on, turn the engine on. So the electrics will need to be turned on in order to adjust the mirrors. So just press that start, start, stop button there once. That's it, and that's turned on. The electrics okay. so we can do things like open and close the windows like I'm demonstrating here but that means now you can also adjust the mirrors so you're gonna start with the right door mirror okay so press the that right mirror button that I mentioned earlier that's the one can you see that lights oh, come on yeah. now yeah okay good and then just have a little play with the up, down, left, right arrow on that circular control and just see what happens with the mirror when you adjust it. 
Yeah, can you see what's happening oh, with the yeah, mirror? it moves. It's moving, isn't it? Yeah. Have a look at this photo. I want you to move that mirror, just the mirror, so the image looks like that photograph there, okay? So you can see a little bit of the side of the car in okay. the mirror, like that, okay. The horizon wants to be in the center of the mirror, you know what I mean by the horizon, yeah? yeah? Where the, the road meets the sky, yeah, the horizon. But mainly you want just a really good view of the road to the rear, okay? So adjust that mirror so it looks like that. Ignore the small circular mirror that you can see in the corner. That's set up for me to use, yeah? So you just concentrate on the main mirror. Concentrate on the image you can see in the main mirror. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so just describe what you can see now in that mirror. I can see the door handles on the car. Could you, did you notice those cars just coming yeah, past you? Yeah, I can yeah? see the cars yeah. coming. There's another white car coming now. Okay, brilliant. Oh, so you can see that white car, yeah? Yeah. Fantastic. I can see the sky. You can see a little bit of the sky as well, yeah. Well, it's mainly the road, though. So and I can see those other cars that I could see in that rear mirror as well. Oh, that's great. The two parked cars. Excellent. So you can see those on the other side of the road. Yeah. Very good, yeah. So from what you're describing, it sounds to me like you've got a very good view of the road behind, yeah? OK, yeah. excellent. Well done. That's great. So now you want to adjust this mirror. OK. OK, so similar thing. Just press the left button. You can see there, look. And then if you have a look at over here, look. So you want to adjust that mirror just like this photograph here. Yeah, so you can, in this mirror, because we parked up at the side of the road, you want to mainly see all the way along the pavement. So if you can imagine a pedestrian was walking along the side of the car, you'd see okay. them in that mirror, okay? So just adjust that mirror, just like you can see in this photograph here. Oh. Yep. That look okay? Yeah, so yeah. just describe what you can see in that mirror. So I can see the door handles on the car, the pavement, and I just saw a car come out of the side road down oh. there, so I could see all the way. Oh, that's very good. Back there. Yeah, well done, that's very good observation. I'm just gonna adjust this little blind spot mirror for my use actually just needs a little adjustment there we go yeah oh yes i can see that side road now that you just mentioned yeah okay very good all right then so that's adjusted the mirrors if you want to press that start stop button again just to turn the electrics off okay good that's a cockpit drill okay okay did that make sense yeah it does make sense Definitely. any questions for me about what we've just gone through with that cockpit drill? Not at the minute, no. Okay, good. All right. Well, you're seated now safely for driving, and every time, at the start of every lesson, when you get in the driver's seat, you're gonna spend a couple of minutes and go through that routine. Okay. okay?